something that I learned from doing Vlogtober as well as Vlogmas. Let's get right. Vlogtober was easy compared to Vlogmas in my opinion. I don't know if I just kind of had a little bit more um, motivation for Vlogtober. Wouldn't you actually think that with Vlogmas you would get more motivation? What I realized is, is something that I that I did not implement during Vlogtober that I should have implemented during Vlogmas is being more consistent with my bulk uploading as well as planning out the content better. So what I definitely noticed during Vlogmas compared to Vlogtober is that I was running out of a lot of stuff to do and to talk about and my lifestyle is quite sedentary by choice um i am a true introvert through and through no i do not have social anxiety no i do not have um awkwardness around people people quite enjoy my company when um, i do grace them with it however my always number one preferred way to be is alone. So with Vlogtober, I was able to do a lot of in-the-house stuff. But with Vlogmas, what I was noticing when I was looking at what other channels were doing, they were doing a lot of activities that required you to leave the house. A lot of activities that kind of required a little bit more participation than the lifestyle and the family that I have. Not that my family was not willing to participate, but we're all kind of lax in a way where we just kind of let things flow the way that they flow. I could definitely appreciate that. It definitely made me understand a little bit more about myself and the type of person that I am compared to a lot of these other vloggers on um, a lot of these other channels. I do feel like a lot of these other vloggers, they are able to be a little bit more extroverted, whether that's just their natural nature or if they're able to bring that out more for the sake of their channel. Me, mm -mm. I don't operate like that. I do not require nor desire a lot of human to human interaction and because of that I find myself feeling like I'm not a good friend but that's another video so with October I was able to do a lot of in-house content so I did a lot of movie reviews a lot of oh these are some scary movies that I watch because I do like scary movies I was able to do some chit chats there were a lot of nice shows that came out during the Halloween season that I was able to talk about. Um, Vlogmas, I don't know. I wanted to get into it. I wanted to do the whole like gingerbread thing. If you guys watched my Five Below video, I did like gingerbread. I want gingerbread houses, but I didn't use them. Being totally honest, being spiritual and being festive, to me just don't go hand in hand. We don't look at Christmas the way a lot of other people might look at Christmas. Um, it's very materialistic, for lack of a better term, which is why we're trying to switch it up for next Christmas. Cause I liked, I liked Vlogtober because it was new. It was something for me to try out. It gave me a, a chance to, check, to test my consistency, which I was able to do when I did 31 videos in a row, and I've been proud of myself. I gained a lot of subscribers, a lot of uh, extra watch time, and it really did improve my channel. But what I didn't anticipate was the burnout after. So when it comes to doing these marathon, if you will, type videos or type content, is that you will get burnout. And what I was not anticipating was the extreme burnout after Vlogtober. Posting 31 videos in a row is not a small feat regardless of what your content is. So I did take a little bit of a break. So I told myself, you know what, you're gonna get up, you're gonna get into Vlogmas, you're gonna do it, you're gonna plan it out, everything's gonna be cool. Did I plan it out? Yeah. Did I plan it out enough? No. Did I bulk record? A little bit. 
Did I get off track? Yes, I got sick and I didn't post you guys for two days. And those two days set me back tremendously. So much so that we are on the 23rd and this is going up as day probably 19 and 20. And then I think I am going to tap out of this Vlogmas about five days short of reaching the 25 day goal. I'm not mad about it at all. I don't feel disappointed in myself either. Um, what I learned is that Vlogtober and Vlogmas are two very different beasts. Um, Vlogmas, I feel like, takes a little bit more, a lot more preparation than Vlogtober did. I also feel like with Vlogmas, because there's so much competition, because there's so many people doing festive Christmas things, if you are not a festive christmas type person you can still make content however i feel like for myself it made it a little bit more difficult for me to kind of stay in that space of making enjoyable content as well as festive like content because it is vlogmas so people do want to see christmas like vlog uh christmas like vlogs they want to see festive vlogs halloween is just kind of like mm, to me what i what i saw i didn't see like a whole bunch of spooky scary stuff it was mostly just people vlogging every day some stuff might have been a little creepy stories or like a movie review or something like that but for the most part it was just a lot of people just posting content for 31 days vlogmas is a very different beast two days set me back so bad and that's another thing that i learned when you're not both recording during vlogmas and you end up having to miss a day it definitely will set you back i'm assuming that this will go for um blocktober as well but because i actually didn't miss a day in block in blocktober i can't speak on that but for vlogmas yeah it set me back especially when i was already having issues i'm um, coming up with content that i felt comfortable with so here I am. It is now December 23rd and this is going up as Vlogmas Day 18, uh, day 19 and 20 because I am counting this as a fold with me vlog as well as a sit down chit chat about what I learned between, um, doing Vlogtober and Vlogmas. A lot of key things, a lot of key takeaways would be to stay consistent as much as possible, but understand that life is gonna happen. You're not a failure because you missed a couple days. You're not a failure because you didn't make it through the whole day, through all of the days. You're not a bad vlogger or you don't have follow through because you might have had to bow out a little bit earlier. There are a lot of people that were doing 12 days of Christmas. There are a lot of people were saying, I'm doing vlogmas, but I'm not doing vlogmas every day. So there are a lot of excuse me there are a lot of different variations with it but what you have to remember is you have to do what works best for you and so this ended up being what worked best for me the one thing that I didn't want to do was push out a whole bunch of content over these next couple of days that I really wasn't happy with but it was actually just content to push out so that I could say that I pushed out content and caught up I don't want to do that I don't want to do that I've been actually enjoying the journey of growing my channel and watching my subscriber count go up and knowing that these are organic followers. These are people that are watching my videos and watching my content and they're liking my content enough for them to want to subscribe to see more. We're past the family members. We're past the friends. Um, we're past the associates. We're, we're past those people. The people who are subscribing now, you guys are people that actually like my content. So I don't want to um, jip showing my age i don't want to jip you guys um and push out content that i just don't feel comfortable with during vlogmas really just showed me the type of content creator that i actually am and that i actually want to be i, I live a pretty sedentary life i spend a lot of time at home a lot of time around my family i don't have a lot of friends i don't socialize a lot i don't like to socialize a lot anything that i do i prefer to do it on my own but if i have the choice of going out or staying in the house i'm always going to choose staying in the house i'm a mom um i'm not dating right now so i don't have like a dating life right now i have videos that i want to post um regarding that and i learned that i'm not like a lot of other vloggers i don't want to go out 
and eat all the time. I don't want to have to spend money to entertain you guys. Now, if I plan a vlog on a day where I'm going to go out and spend money anyway, that's different. But what I found myself doing was spending money to be able to make content and that's what i don't want to do um i do not maintain and grow my financial abundance by frivolously spending my money i don't do that and so i'm like that's not what i do like i be in the house i be in the house so the content that you're going to get a lot of the content is going to be in the house a lot of the content is going to be in this room because i spend an immense amount of time in this room so with vlogmas i kind of felt like it taught me a lot about myself but it also taught me about the type of vlogger that i'm not you need to come on here and be like oh yeah you know and we're making gingerbread houses and we're doing the 24-hour red challenge and we're doing the 24-hour green challenge and who can create the best christmas stocking that's not me I love watching those type of content, that type of content, but that's not me. I learned during October that I can use that space to be myself more and I don't have to worry about the parameters that Vlogmas, in my opinion, creates. Vlogtober to me is just way more relaxed, way more like do what you want to do if you want to do spooky stuff you can do spooky stuff and everybody says oh you know when you do vlogmas you don't have to do like christmas related vlogs you can do just like regular vlogs and things like that but let's be let's be real people a lot of people doing christmas stuff a lot of people are doing christmas stuff and no you don't have to be like everybody else but when you are doing vlogmas people do expect for you to have some christmas content what I noticed was during Vlogtober, it wasn't really expecting that. It was like, if you do, you do. It was more or less like one of the creators are just making 31 videos. So it wasn't really to me. I didn't see a lot of super spooky stuff. I feel like if you're going to do Vlogmas, you should be prepared and understand that the festive... The festivities surrounding Christmas, they will play a part. Um, if you're a very popular YouTuber, then I can see you just making vlogs and doing what that, whatever. But even the more, uh, more popular YouTubers that I'm saying, they've also been incorporating Christmas things. And it's nothing wrong with that. But what I've learned is, it's not my jam. I just have to do what makes me feel good and what helps me to continue to be consistent. Those are just a couple things um, that I learned during Vlogtober and Vlogmas. Understand that it is about choice and bowing out gracefully still gets you a round of applause.